here. I think I cancelled one auto attack because he went to the bush, right? It's okay. Now, all I want to do, guys, I'm not this, like, I can look for trades. I can look to utilize my level two. Um, but preferably, I just look to get an early game crash, right? And just secure a good reset here. And then I already have 400 gold. Like, my lane is already won. I don't have to, like, double dip, per se. I'm already in a good spot. He's Wing in. The only downside is now my Q is out of sync with my uh, level two here. I get level two from one caster. Like I said, five means level two. All good. I'll just slow push. I'm denying him means by slow pushing, which is good. Look, it's like it's gonna be a level three. Actually, guys, I'm gonna do a trick here. I'm gonna show you guys a trick, okay? Uh, I, one coaching student of this, Mr. Splitting, once this is, did this accidentally. But if you put two points in Q and two points in W, you can actually proxy wave four because you can one shot the casters with three Qs and your W. If you put two points in Q. Well, I have cancer. I gotta make sure I crush this wave. And then that that's like somewhat negligible. But I gotta freeze this, right? Oh, okay, I did get early guy. I mean... Chase! <laughs> Happens. Why not select my E again? Fundamentals. I heard a 2 million ranked domain told me that Riven ranked is a skill matchup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody once said that Rama support is bad. Look at this guy. Alright, Rama support sucks. What is this guy doing? I mean, that gank really cocked me though. I can move here, the way he's pushing into me. But he's already level 4, I'm losing more XP here. I don't think we can collect him. Oh, whatever, man. This game is not looking too hot now. Did Lily actually get heart rewarded for doing the early gank? Man, if I got third wave crash into proxy, I would be in such a good spot, man. That's alright. That's not what's happening here, so shut your mouth. Okay, sorry. There's his aftershock. This guy's playing so defensive. Double cloth armor like a bitch. Right, bitch, this guy's. <sighs> All good. We just let this crash. Nothing I can do about it. He's gonna reset. I harpish this wave to set up my reset as well. Should grab me around 700. We're good. My spirit is not lost. I gotta make sure I get every me in. That was. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. That was so good. Thank you, FMB0119 for the T1, brother. Appreciate your kindness. We're rushing Eclipse here, not Cleaver. So I kind of want another solo ball, though. Because after this guy gets a full item. I'm gonna be scratching his nut, but, I mean, okay, but this is like so bad, like, he's not gonna build this to a full item, so he's just delaying his spikes, honestly, but I guess it's good against anti-crit, I don't know, a bit weird. Did, did you answer if you still do coaching? Sorry, I didn't get that message. Yes, I still do coaching, I've been opening solo coaching up again, FMB. If you're interested in my coaching, send me a DM on Discord, uh, I will say it is relatively pricey though, but you can send me a DM on Discord, see if we can figure something out. Oh, yes, both sides. Oh, that was... Okay. That was lucky. I think I need like clips before I win the 1v1, kind of. You just add me on Discord if you're interested in coachables.
I gotta look in here. What do you want me to do there? You're just getting solo killed as well, by the way. Not sure what you want me to do differently for you there. It's fine. Getting the best chance today, yeah? Huh? I cancelled an auto. That's a tragedy. A oh, level up timer, though. Pretty chill. I was thinking I would get the level up timer by killing the Lilia, but Hello this guys, works I'm kind Carlo. of. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Yeah, that guy's griefing. Well, I cancelled a free auto on a 200 shutdown that would have granted me level 7 and would have put me in a good position. Now I use old Enic Knight and got nothing. And that is really, really terrible for the game. Cleavy, thank you to Prime. That should have been a kill. I don't think she had flush, actually. Losing that timer is, is beyond bad. Does he have TP? Please don't have TP. Man, not getting that kill is so bad. I still lived because I leveled up. I was, I was, I was, uh, I actually had to level up, calculate that, that if I would kill the Lilia, I'd get the level up from solo kill XP. I get the shutdown, not have Eclipse and, like, a lot more, but... We lived, so it's not the end of the world. If I would've died, it would've been insta-game over, but... <clears throat> Sorry. It's only natural result from canceling an auto. Uh, I mean, yeah, everybody has their own preference. I like to play with attack move. I'm just used to it. What's my reason to show chat in the bottom left? My editor requested it for YouTube videos. I think it's more interactive. Mm. We're till 20 CS up. I have a feeling Lilia, yeah. I was about to say, why is this guy even trading with me? Like, I was already surprised that Kassad is trading with me, so I was thinking maybe Lilia is actually here. Oh. Oh, come on. So unlucky, and I'm out. And Sorak out. I think I might just have to look for risks here. Okay. Somehow Smolder lived, so that's massive. I have Eclipse and E. I'm not too scared here, I think. He has no aftershock. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Sometimes I just forget Cassandra damage. <sighs> Every ult I use, I don't get a kill. It's very bad for a champion when I'm going Eclipse setup as well. Like, you, you kind of want to snowball with the setup, right? It's okay though. Again, we didn't die. In the past, I would have my CDR boots here. Sedge. Is it gonna freeze or what? Piggy. No, he's not freezing. I win the 1v1, but Lilia's looking to gank me a lot. I've survived her gank. She's gonna flush again though, so will I. If I just would've gotten the shutdown, this game is a different game. But again. Is that the situation we're in? So shut your mouth. Okay. Yasuo just flashed? What? I thought he would... I thought... Maybe he thought there was like a knockup or something? I don't know. There's Cassante moving as well without ult. I think my correct play is to hard push the wave here first. Okay. 
talked to the most calculating and one of the most consistent rhythm players. I'm losing plates here for doing this. I don't know. Can't wait for in three years all top laners quit league because it's Mac. turning 18 years old. I like your icon, buddy. It's a new icon too. Like a new badge, rather. Uh, I mean, they have four people. We have three that are weak. And I lost plates. Game's looking hard. Rope Mac, David Prime, brother. I don't know. Rough game. My one death was pretty shit. Other than that, it's been a very unlucky game where I'm mainly getting ganked, and this Cassante is just like 30 just down, doing nothing, but just being a bitch for his team, and it's working because his whole team is winning. I need to kill this guy here, but I don't think he'll really fight me, you know? He's gonna go back. He's actually fighting me. There's a Soraka ult, maybe as well. That's why I'm keeping my ult. Just okay. Nice. He actually fought me. I would not have ever expected him to fight me. Give me a chance to somewhat carry. Like, don't. Finally, I got a kill, right? With my ult and ignite. And we stole the dragon. Okay. Massive. Good switch. Because they have grubs and they would have the second dragon. Paired with, like, winning everywhere. Although this Yasuo is out farming their mid laner. So even though it's 0 2, is actually in a good spot. No TP? I get another plate then. Why not? Alright, let's go. Nice. <clears throat> wait, I just noticed your. I just no realized your message. I can't wait for all top players to quit League in three years because League will be 18 years old. I see. Holy moly, I didn't connect. We're like 40 CS up, three plates still. But it's not gonna be an easy game. I think this is a game where I go Sundered Sky. And I just adapt. Perfect. Space with him perfectly there. He had wasted his E. I caught him. I can get a full turret. Most important though. Like, I don't care too much about killing the Cassante in terms of, like, the gold I get from him. The thing that matters so much is that I also get the turret, I deny him the wave, and I get the solo kill XP, right? So, the solo kill XP is what matters the most for me there. Because that way, I can actually get ahead of the EXP curve of the game. And that gives me a chance to carry this. We need Sun Skies, like, 2k. I can move here, maybe. I think there's still Lilia somewhere here. You have cancer. Okay, sorry. Why would you just go melee range with me, though? Like, in all seriousness. Oh. Okay, my bad. Like, I just got booty blasted. What did that Lydia just do, though? Like, for real? What the hell was that? Just check, check PayPal, I guess. I don't know. Okay, guys. Uh, I have to go bot lane now. Preferably. So I can play for the bot tier 1. Expand my gold lead. The benefit that we have of Talia stealing the second dragon is that I... Like, not worried about souls or weak condition at all. I can beat this guy inside and this guy because I'm gonna start building Maul now. Um, because these two guys are their main weak condition. And this Zeri is dying a lot of times, by the way, which is actually good for me. Smaller there is both Nayasu's mid, so there's actually no point for me going both. Even though it would be my preferred side wave right now. Because smaller there, I can't go there. He wants the turret for himself, of course, as he should. And so I'll move top. We're still ahead of the item curve and the XP curve. Uh, I should just flash that earlier though. I should just live. And even though my Yasuo's 0 and 4, he is still farmed. So I'm, I'm not too worried about this game state. Is that Cassandra TP? No. Okay, that's Cassandra TP. So I both TP for killing Yasuo. If we just stay alive. No. I don't think he flashed out. Yeah, it's coming topside. She has no ult. There is both. Two items almost. Don't overstay. My small is actually very strong. I want to start going to bot lane now, so I push the turret or the wave in the tier 2, and I'll go bot. I'm gonna ping bot so Yasuo doesn't go there. Me bot. You top. I need him to listen. 
Right, I'm ahead of his move, so I get to decide the side wave that I want to go towards. Very important lesson here, right? I see my reset, I see my Yasuo is about to respawn. By default, he would walk bot lane there, but I want to be bot lane. It's better, beneficial for me. This guy's not the win condition, right? This guy's own five. I'm the win condition this game, so I'm gonna claim my side wave. Very important. If your teammates are not complete imbeciles, as in, you know, they're not bronze, respectfully, right? Or, or 80 carry mains, 80 carry mains, 0-5 would still go bot lane there. You select your side wave, and you're at the position you should be for maximum gold to come, right? And now this side wave is pushing back into me. Yasuo should be receiving that. I get tempo on bot wave. Maybe I can play for the tier two. Otherwise, I crash into the tier two and see what I, I just adapt. But this is what allows me to have very high gold income this game, right? So that rotation just there, even though it seems minor, it's just super, super important in game sets like these. And now this side will bounce back into me again. Yasuo gets to collect and see I'm permanently ahead with tempo because of how I'm managing my side waves here. And also this is where you get all of your gold income as a solo laner. Yasuo went mid because he had no job in top lane. So it's correct for him to go mid lane first for one wave and then go top. Um, now, one thing I do dislike though, is if I was top lane right now, I could cross map for this because it looks like we don't want the 5v5 here. I do believe we can 5v5, uh, but it looks like my team wants to try and cross map for the top lane turret instead. I'm going to try and do some poke. I just need to make sure I don't get caught. I'm going to dodge this ball. I'm going to try to cross map for this. The Huey is going there though. Defend it. Okay, it's just Lily. I would one and a half items here, and the Cassante with one and a half items. No. Okay, we get the tier two, and it looks like we killed the Huey. Massive cross map by my team. Oh, Sage, they got a fight, brother. Appreciate it, boss. This was so good. They got a dragon. We got a tier two, and the Huey shut down. So this was ultra worth for us. This was such a good turn. Sage, thank you so much again for the five, man. Hey, appreciate, it, brother. And look, we're still like. Two to three levels ahead of the curve of EXP here, right? Because how we're managing the side waves. Always just alt W to procure Eclipse and Sunlit Sky. And he can't trade back because Eclipse shoot and then E it out, you know? Oh, we're fighting here. This Leah has her second item now, so I got a ran. Alright. Clean game, I control it. I'm gonna be third item before anybody else. So I'm control this game here. My ass was back in the game. Got tier 2 to get the shutdown. I have perma tempo versus Cassante. I'm gonna try and move mid here because I have the advantage of tempo. Cassante is to collect, no TP, I believe. Right, because if Cassante collects, we have numbers advantage. See, he's bot lane, I'm mid lane. It's the benefit of having side wave priority. Looks like my entire team is already dead though, before I even get the chance to move. I'll do that. Maybe yeah, I should not go for her, but... Yasuo has ult. My jungles today are... Uh, very interesting human beings, with all due respect. Like, the Kha'Zix from last game and this, like, Talia, just, I don't know, man. I don't even think it's today, it's on this account. They, they, they just, I don't know. I get some creatures. With, no, not even respectfully. At this point, that's not respectfully. That guy needs to be... Something, something. Okay, we have our third item after this, so we're good, though. This bitch flashed. It's sad, my whole team was dead before I had the chance to arrive, but I still know my play was correct. I'm gonna leave the side in a somewhat suboptimal position. No, I'm on tempo reset, but I think Huey will just push it back, so it's completely fine here. Okay, now it's pretty easy for me to fight them side laners, and okay, my next item is just death stance for armor, and also the more damage I block through death stance, the more my magic resistance matters, right? So death stance is just my... Natural next item, and then on those four items, I think I'm very, very strong. My, my mid jungle is 1 and 11, actually. Holy shit, they are useless. See, I'm not really getting uh, gold this game by kills, but I'm still ahead in XP by just, you know, being very efficient with how I'm managing my sideways, farming jungle camps, etc, etc. So I'm still ahead of the gold and the XP curve, right? You don't... 
only expand your lead through farm. And now, if somebody collects here, same thing. We get numbers advantage. So I can of flesh. They spotted me though. Something's tipping somewhere. Behind me. I got my ult off. So lucky. If your name is Zuri! I don't have armor, so I gotta be a little bit wary of this guy. Who am I kidding? I'm Riven. <laughs> and that's the one fight we need. My Italia's dead, so I think I'll just go Bulger get try and get the tier 2. Or mid tier 1 first. This is a very clean controlled game by me, right? I control the fights we're taking. Then it's just a matter of execution in the team fight in terms of mechanics. Well, I think we did Kyle, right? And yeah. I think we shouldn't. This Baron is bad. They're all in the resets. We have so much gold. We have like 3 to 4k gold in items. So this Baron is terrible. See, I would just pick my team away from these players, right? So, very crucial. We had just won a team fight. For, like 5 for 1. We got a mid T1. We have tempo everywhere. We just reset. Sorry, we don't have that much tempo because we have a shit ton of gold in our inventory. So if we start Baron with like 3 to 4k gold in our inventory, they're all coming from tempo with a gold spent, right? And it, it would just be very bad to start it there. So it's much better to just do this. Reset the map. We got 5 for 1. We're not in a rush. Now we can be first on the map again. We get the tempo. Spend our gold. And now the next fight should be pretty free for us. I was thinking of getting level 16 before this fight, but I don't think I can. Strak has no flash, so it's my priority target here. Oh, come on. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, I should have taken that. Look at the stacks. Oh, okay, he has it now. Nice. Alois, what do you think about the Brom Imposter kind of giga chat, right? Was it you? Jorge? 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 I'm right, let's go. Just, we don't even have to get the dragon, we just have to win the fight here. I'm closing in their walls indeed. I'm trying to deny their exit route. I mean, we don't have engage. I got my knockup off, but it might not be enough unless he does that. Nope. Terrible. We didn't even kill anybody here either. Oh my days. We got five for zero. <laughs> uh, well, shy it. That's is not good. They get Baron with that too, and they're on soul point. Ruffy McTuffie. This Cassandra is playing the team fight well. He's like he's doing nothing but keeping his eyes on me and just not allowing me to play the fight. If I have death sense, I carry that fight. I only took physical damage. Yeah, unlucky. Like right, yeah. I just only took physical damage. If I had death sense that fight instead of Maul, I would have carried it. Uh, tricky. Yo, Kyrie, good to see you, boss. What is my team? <laughs> it's the average master lobby, man. The average master lobby. And what can you do about this game? Wait, we got the dragon, though. Wait, never mind, we're chilling. Okay, we're actually fine. Talia has stolen two dragons this game. They're not on soul point. Uh, that relieves some pressure. On six items, I believe I can carry this game. I just need Death Stance and Profan Hydra. And I can one-shot a target. But this guy is already going to four. Yikes. No, I remember last time climbing in this region. Master took me unironically the longest. And then from Master to Changer, I got there in like one and a half days. It was just... Playing the games in Master is, is the hardest stretch. It's all good though. Once I have Death Stance, I'll be strong. I just can't really progress for two minutes. Yeah, 
have so many turrets to play for as well. Where do I get 200 gold? I just wait. They get this. I can't do anything about it. I need one more wave and I have those sense. I don't want to reset right now. Just don't fight mid, please. So mouse DPI. I genuinely have no idea. I tried to check it yesterday. I tried to... Uh, I had installed Razer Synapse. Uh, it uh, didn't register either my mouse or keyboard, even though they're both Razer. So, there's that. I actually have no idea. Okay, well, that's good. Alright. We don't use this skill to do anything proactive. I just want to get my death sense. Stabilize the map. We're a good spot now. Oh, I just go on the Cassandra now. <laughs> this Ramus is so troll to watch, man. They can't kill me because I have death sense now. If you're ahead of the curve with a death stance, it's so hard for any team to do anything, really. Um, yeah, I was right. I was lying. Okay, chilling. I, I got scared for a second there, but then I just used back to full, so... I'm pretty sure. See, there's a difference between having death stance or not. That item is just so important on Riven. I don't think there's any champion in the game that is able to utilize death stance better. Maybe Aatrox. But even Aatrox doesn't have, like, a shield. No, I think Riven is the best death stance user in the game. In case you guys don't know how it works, the passive you get from Death Sense is Ignore Pain. 30% of damage taken is dealt to you over 3 seconds instead. So instead of taking 100% damage, you take 70% instantly and 30% over time. However, you're able to both heal and shoot that dam damage over time. And if you get a kill or an assist, that 30% over time damage uh, goes away. So basically, I take a lot less damage. And since I have so much healing and shooting from Eclipse and E, it's so amazing on me. Oh, I didn't even hear the ult. And I couldn't get a kill, so I couldn't proc death stance. I'm a griefer, my bad. I have AIDS. I'm explaining stuff like yapping session again and I just die for fun. Sorry, my bad. I get ult I the button there too. Is this Ramos carrying or what? Yeah, it's carrying together with uh, Talia this game. <laughs> Wait, this one is a Giga Chad. Ooh. Close. I bet though. No, I don't like Edge of Night last. Edge of Night is not bad, but uh, Profane Hydra is just way better. <clears throat> my bad. I have my sounds very soft this game. I didn't see the Lilia ult animation, but I also didn't hear it. I have my music louder than the sounds in game. Wait, I'll send you the I'll send you the song after um Kyrie. I just Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin. If you want to search it right now. All right, let's focus. Most fun top players I like to play. Right now, I really enjoy uh, Mundo. I think Mundo's fun. I think Yorick is a lot of fun. Riven is fun. I mean, there's a lot of good champions in top lane. I kind of want to go bot lane here. If I can get this Prof and Hydra, it's going to be a massive. That my team just needs to respect on this mid wave because they could be 45 and then the game should be in a very good state here. Because if Cassante uh, collects here, right? They're, they're 5 mid now. If Cassante collects, we have Pryo. I'm just trying to maximize my gold income. Okay, Lily has bolt, so. It's all good. One more wave and I have my item from full build. I might be able to sneak in here now. Okay, they will never look for me here, realistically. Because they will lose Baron. Okay, nice. Now I'm full built. I can one shot a target. Good. 
I think my preferred target would be Soraka. She is so much better. We have anti heal, anti heal, anti heal. Oh, holy moly, my whole team is anti heal. Now we can do this though. I think uh, a team village is secured. Smolder has flesh in 40. I have flesh in 40. It's important to check. Neither mid to jungle has flesh. I just like to check my items of my teammates and also the summoners. So I kind of predict how the fight is going to look like, right? I think we did this pretty fast. And they don't know I'm here. Where's the wallet though? Yep, good macro here. Should be guaranteed. And now we have Baron for three minutes. We should also allow us to secure the soul. I'm gonna play for top because it's already open. Into Shabby. I think Lydia just flash ulted my team. My damage is too high kind of for them. Oh, well. Revolt! Well, yeah, I mean, this game was what? I kind of farmed sideways all games. I kept 10 steps per minute. I played good macro in terms of, you know, side waves and uh, the drone camps. That's what made me stay high on the resources and then... GG. Good game. Balanced. But Reddit.